the first case is if a and b are two independent events and p of a equals to 1 by 2 and p of b equals to 1 by 5 find out p of a union b this is the case of general law of addition of probabilities where two events are independent what is the formula of P of A union B that is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B but A and B are two independent events so the formula is P of A plus P of B minus P of A into P of B Substituting the value 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 5. The simplification is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10. Take LCM of 10. 10 divided by 2 into 1, 5 plus 10 divided by 5, 2 into 1, 2 minus 10 divided by 10 into 1 that is 1 so ultimately it comes to 6 by 10 is it 10 is LCM 10 divided by 2 5 into 1 5 10 divided by 5 2 into 1 2 10 divided by 10 1 into 1 1 so ultimately the answer is 6 by 10 or 0 0.6 Now the next case Probability of A is 1 by 3 Probability of complement of B is 1 by 4 and probability of A intersection B is 1 by 6. Find out probability of A union B, probability of A complement intersection B complement and probability of A complement given B complement. Now first of all to find out P of A union B we have to use this formula and for that purpose we should have P of A, yes we have P of B we have P of B complement, so first we have to find P of B and P of A intersection B, yes we have P of A intersection B so first we have to find P of B now we know that P of B complement is 1 minus P of B so P of B is 1 minus P of B complement that is 1 minus one fourth. So P of B comes to three fourth. First we have to find P of B in that way. Now we can find P of A union B. One P of A union B. That is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. That is P of A 1 by 3 plus P of B 3 by 4 minus P of A intersection B 1 by 6. What should we take as LCM? 12. 12 divided by 3 4. 4 into 1 4 plus 12 divided by 4 3. 3 into 3 9 minus 12 divided by 6 2 2 into 1 2 ultimately it is 9 plus 4 13 minus 2 11 it is 11 by 12 but this calculation is possible if we calculate P of B first now the next is Probability of A complement intersection B complement. Remember set theory. The Morgan's rule. 
A complement intersection B complement equals to A union B whole complement. That means 1 minus probability of A union B. 1 minus 11 by 12. That means the required probability of A complement intersection B complement is 1 by 12. And the third case, simple case of calculation of conditional probability, P of A complement given B complement. The formula is P of A complement intersection B complement divided by P of B complement. We have now P of A complement intersection B complement and we have P of B complement. So, the answer is 1 by 12 divided by 1 by 4. That means 1 by 12 into 4 by 1. That means the final answer is 1 by 3.